There's only one way to start off this vlog. We need a large for today. Is it sad that every time I walk in there, they know exactly what my order is because I'm there every single day? The only question I ask now is hot or cold? And another thing is apparently at that Dunkin', they keep track of what's going on in sports based on if I wear a jersey or not. It's a beautiful day, so let's walk and talk. So today is Thursday, September 21st. And on Saturday night, the 23rd, I'm playing at the Icon NYC Brewery in Queens, New York City. I'm really excited. It's my first show back in New York in over a year. And the purpose of this vlog is to show you guys all the behind the scenes that goes into a show like this. Also, we're playing on CDJ, so I'm going to show you guys how I prepare for sets on equipment that isn't mine. But uh, the reason why we have a large today is because we have a laundry list of things to do today. Chatting with uh, Mike Edwards of Artistically Trustworthy, a uh, music-based website out of Long Island, and uh, he's giving me my first ever artistic interview on, on a website. So this is really cool. We're just working out the final drafts and edits. It will be out tomorrow. The link will be in the description below. Right now, we're also talking to Patrick Kiss, who is one of the DJs that will be playing with us on Saturday, along with Gruddy. Uh, I've never met him before, and uh, I'm talking to him now so I can get an idea of his style, so I can better uh, build off his set, at, or better uh, set him up for his own set. And so right now, what we're doing is we're going through my entire um, electronic music library to kind of uh, find some tracks that I want to make into a playlist that's about, you know, eight hours of worth of music for the show, but it's not going to be on iTunes. Instead, what we're going to use today is a software called Recordbox. What Recordbox allows me to do is it allows me to take up mu any music library, whether it be iTunes or from any other kind of uh, a music source that I have files saved to, and I can put it straight into the system here. I can analyze all the tracks. I can put in cue points, as we discussed in a previous video. I can make playlists, set lists, and have everything all analyzed and ready to go, and then have it saved to my USB drive here. And so when I arrive at uh, Icon NYC, all I have to do is just simply make sure everything is saved onto my USB drive, plug that into the CDJs, and I'll be ready to play just like that. All I really have to take with me is my laptop, my headphones, my thumb drive, of course, and that's really it. All right, good morning. It is actually Friday morning, uh, the 22nd, around 10.30 in the morning. So yesterday was a very busy day for me. My day off was uh, turned out to be more, one of my busiest days of the week. We got a lot done, and then there was a lot that got thrown at, thrown at me at the last minute. We uh, entered a, I entered a DJ contest, so there's been a lot of promotional campaign stuff I've been doing for that. I've been doing a lot of e working on the edits for that interview, I've been, and I've been talking to a bunch of people. In regards to the upcoming show, we're talking about you know the very finite details of like what I'm gonna do when I get there, what time I'm getting, where and when. Today's gonna be much the same. It's a very busy day, so uh, let's get right into it. So at the moment we have Ableton Live 9 open, and what we're doing right now is we're working on making some mashups and original tracks as well. I'm looking to make about a few more of these. Um, and the nice thing about uh, having Ableton and the, uh, other programs like this is I can work on this now, I can work on this on the bus, I can work, work on this on the subway, all the way up to bef right before I have to get on stage. Alright, so it's 3.30 afternoon on, on Friday, the 22nd. We got the mashups done, which uh, hopefully I'll be able to play out tomorrow. We got some other things done as well, but now it's time for the hardest work I'm going to have to do this weekend. My day job. Sorry. It is 12.50 in the morning. I just left the restaurant. That was one of the hardest shifts I've ever had. I got absolutely slaughtered out there. This is the real life of uh, an underground artist. We're busting our asses here just to make what we do possible. I would like to say though that my first ever interview with Artistically Trustworthy was just put out today. Uh, I will put a link in the description below. I'm receiving great uh, reviews about it and uh, hope you guys can read it and understand uh, kind of what goes into what I do. But it's time to get home and get to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is Saturday morning, the September the 23rd. It's about 9.30ish. Nothing left to do but get on the road.
jobs now. Then let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. All right, and here we are. You can't really see it. It's a little bit dark because of the camera, but this is Icon NYC. It's a very small tap house, and we're uh, providing the vibes tonight. So let's go inside. Alright, so it's me and Zafu. I'll post, I'll post links in the, in the description below. We're just enjoying ourselves after our set. Hey guys, so uh, right now I'm uh, behind a Grand Central Terminal, one of the most famous train stations in the world. And, uh, you know, I just got back from Beer Garden over in Queens. And uh, just talking about my set real quick. Um, I'll be honest with you, it was, uh, mechanically speaking, one of the worst sets I've ever played. Um, my transitions were horrendous, my song selection was questionable at times, I think the artists who were there were appreciative of the tracks I did play, but it just didn't make sense, it wasn't a good set for me. And I'm okay with admitting that, and uh, I just hope that I'll get the chance to, you know, prove myself to do better. And that being said though, I'm happy I'm here, even if I played poorly, it's there's, no, there's nothing like playing in New York City. It's hard to explain this to someone who's not from here or who's never experienced this, this place in the way that I have, but there's something to be said about being a New York DJ. There's something about being a part of this nightlife. The coolest thing is seeing things behind me like the, you know Grand Central or you know whenever I used to come in here through World Trade Center and uh, there's to say that I'm a part of New York City tonight, that I'm a part of the nightlife, I'm a part of the whole New York experience, is something really special. And there really isn't a price to put on that. I didn't get paid a cent tonight, and I don't care. It's just the idea of being a part of New York City tonight was all that I wanted, and that's all I needed. And that's something that cannot be valued. There's no dollar sign on it. And uh, it's impossible to explain to people who have never played in played in New York City or never, you know, growing up around this place, you know, this place is magical. And uh, if you're a DJ or a producer or a performer anyway, I highly recommend at some point in your life that you come and perform in New York City. There's something special about this place. It's a crazy city. People are a little bit insane, but I highly recommend it. There's no more magical place in the world than here in NYC. Additionally, uh, it's two in the morning, so uh, I'll probably find some pizza right now. Even one dollar pizza here is better than any pizza you'll find the rest of the country. I can promise you that right now. All right, the show's over. It's three fifteen. Time to head back home. Down with the basin. Yeah. Down with the basin. Down. All right, it is 
10.30. We are finally back at the apartment, and I'm going to go die, die for a few hours. Hey, guys. It's 10 o'clock on Sunday night. Uh, just finished shift at work. Um, so I'm absolutely 100% wiped after this weekend. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this podcast. A huge thank you to Marco Green, uh, a.k.a. Gruddy, for having me out in Queens to play uh, that show. And a huge, huge thank you to everyone who came out and supported me, whether it was uh, just to say hi, grab a coffee or dinner, or you know, to be at, be at the show with me or, or hang out afterwards. It was awesome seeing everyone. It wasn't my best set, not by a long shot, but I'm, I'm happy I was there to uh, be with you guys and to perform for everyone. So uh, until next time, I'm Dirty Jers, and this is the Dirty Jers Vlog.